For this construction, we are going to construct a parallel line to a given line that goes through a point that is not on the line. So the main note we're gonna use here is that parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, they form congruent corresponding angles. So that means we are going to do the congruent angle construction, but what we need to do first is we need to draw a transversal in here. So use a straight edge and draw a line that goes through that initial point and that is your transversal. All right, so we're gonna do our congruent angle construction and we're really gonna do it twice in this video because we want a pair of angles that are congruent to each other. I'm gonna start with the gold ring of my compass on this intersection point. That's where the parallel or the first line that will eventually be a parallel line and the transversal cross. And I'm going to draw an arc of any size so that it crosses both of those lines. All right, once we have that, you could jot down off to the side what measurement you used or just remember it, or we could always go back and line it up later. I'm gonna bold those two intersections and now I'm gonna complete the congruent angle construction. So I'm gonna put the gold ring of my compass on one point and I'm going to try and find a measurement on my compass that best lines up with the other point, okay? So you might have to move around and play with it and once you feel like that you have one, okay, so I'm going back and forth between a couple here, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. You're going to draw an arc going through. Now we're gonna repeat this process. So whatever we used for this big arc here, if you forget, you're gonna go back and line it up. Put the gold ring of your compass on the initial point that the problem gave you and you are going to use that measurement and draw another nice big arc. The arcs do not need to be the same size, but if you can make them similar in size, that will help ensure that you get the intersections that you need. All right, where that point crossed the transversal, you're going to put the gold ring of your compass there, and you're gonna draw an arc like we drew here. So if you forget what measurement that is, go here, line it back up, and you are going to draw an arc. All right, with that intersection, I'm gonna bold it, and I'm just gonna turn my paper here for a second. I'm gonna use my straight edge to connect the original point to that intersection. And now I have my parallel line that goes through that initial point that the problem gave us.